Hello and welcome. Campbell here from Autodidactic Channel. Hope you're having a splendid day. Thank you for spending some time with me and today I thought we would have a look at Fremantle. Fremantle is the port city of Perth. Uh, so it's basically a suburb now and uh, the, the second settlement in uh, the Swan River Colony. And so, of course, it has the same story as Perth, founded around the same time. It became a city a bit later as it was, you know, it was more the port. But this is a photo from 1891 and you can just see the build out already. It's just completely, completely built out. And again, we get this, you know, this juxtaposition, you know, we get buildings like this one here. And that these are all brick, by the way, look down here, so it's all red brick with a facade on it. Uh, all these types of buildings like this, like this, and a big dome on top. Looks like it's been stripped or something. Looks like a castle. And then we get these little wooden shacks next to the like, built in between them. You know, big, big, you know, masonry, red brick building and a crappy wooden fence. You know, what's the deal here? <laughs> Doesn't make a lot of sense, right? Again, you've got wood, you know, neck, you know, all these little wooden houses, you know, surrounded by these brick houses and masonry. And of course, this look, look how old this looks. You know, it already looks so old and weathered. And this is 18, uh, 1891 in Fremantle. And this is an, es an extract about Fremantle. And this is, it says, Captain Irwin arrived in Fremantle as captain in command of 68 men of the 63rd Regiment. Many of his troops had fought in the Napoleonic Wars. In his book published in London in 1835, he described Fremantle from the perspective of approaching the settlement by sea. And he said, The site of the town is indicated by a handsome octagonal building of white cut stone, erected near the edge of a precipice which overhangs the mouth of the river. On landing, the stranger has the pleasure of entering a small but neat town with wide streets, some of which have been macadamized. I'm not sure what that means. The streets are laid out at right angles with each other and the houses are constructed either of white stone or of wood that is painted. Fremantle contains several hotels where travelers may partake of excellent accommodation and a good table. The principal one is equal in appearance and comfort to good English country inns. So there you go. So this is the roundhouse that he was talking about, the octagonal building. And uh, so we're saying he's 1835. So this is six years after they sailed up the river. So six years after they founded Perth. And I think they, they named Fremantle as well. They just you know found it. They just called it Fremantle. It wasn't a city or anything. So this is six years later, six years after they turned up with nothing. And he's saying there's several um, big hotels where you can stay. And of course we have this. Okay, so this is the picture of the roundhouse. So up here, this is the roundhouse. And the story is that this was a prison built by the prisoners so that they could then lock themselves inside. And of course it was you know, one of the first buildings they tell us uh, completed, this is six years, like six years around um, after they found it, and look how old it looks. Just looks weathered, I mean, it's not the best photo. Uh, tunnel underneath, now this goes straight underneath, it comes out the other side, there's a few rooms and things under there, so, you know, a few doors, so, you know, who knows what else is under this, because you can see how, how high up it is on the ground as well. And of course, you know, we have this, what's going on here? Got a wall sitting up the top here, and then what is that? Is that I don't know. It looks like see if that was dirt. Dirt. If dirt caved out like that, this whole thing would go down. 
So it looks like it's, you know, an old part of a wall or something. Because you can see the bricks here and they kind of merge down here. And so that doesn't look like dirt, that looks like a wall. Because as you can see, you know, it's, it's pretty much the same as this, right? So uh, the roundhouse actually looks like it's built up on a, like it's popping out the top of a walled area. So it could be like a cavalier of a star fort. So there you go, a bit about uh, Fremantle. And again, the same story, it just sort of popped up like this. Now this is the roundhouse and it says, oh the date of the picture was 1910, this one. And there you go, that's a pretty cool picture. People everywhere suddenly. Old world buildings and the roundhouse. And we even had um, a lighthouse but that got knocked over quite a while ago. And again, you can see, see it's sitting up on this, you know, it's like a wall of some kind. It, whoops. You know, the whole thing was raised up. Very interesting. Got train lines already. Okay, so this is a view from uh, the lighthouse. And again, 1879, uh, so literally this is 50 years since they sailed in past this area and look at the build out. This, you know, this is supposed to be the first prison, the roundhouse. Again, 1879, uh, can't really zoom in too much, can't get down there, but can you see those windows going into the ground? And it's a one, two, three, four, five, what is it? Ten sided. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not twelve sided. Twelve sided. And again, just in the mud. You know, in this thing as well, just in the mud. The roads aren't done. And of course, the second biggest building is the Fremantle Jail. That's a jail. Apparently, you know, it looks very similar to the buildings that we see in other countries that are called palaces. And the same story that the prisoners built this. They turned up, they made them build it, and then they locked them inside it. Uh, so this is a view from the back looking forward. Uh, so this is 1925, a bit later, but you know you can see this is completely, completely built out. And these are all brick houses. You know, there's a few woodies in there, no doubt, but you know, mainly brick. Here we have a nice church. Look at the side here. Okay, they haven't done the foundations very well. I mean, <laughs> when you highlight it, I mean, look, it just shows you that angle so well. And of course, little wooden chucks behind it. And, you know, again, they love to put these, you know, verandas on the front just to change the look. But it's clearly the same as what we see all over the world. Uh, okay, so this is 1962. So we've jumped forward a bit. Let's we'll see if we can get some older pics. 1904. So still pretty early. And I mean, look at this. You know, look at this building. Just completely, completely built out. Uh, so this is, you know, 75 years at the most after they turned up and there was nothing here. They got train lines in at the harbour but they just got brick, big brick buildings everywhere. And there again that is the jail, this big thing. And there is also um, the old lunatic asylum is, well I think that's it in there. It actually had a big wall around it as well. So we'll see if we can get some photos of that. 1864. Okay, so we're back to, you know, 35 years. After they've turned up, they can build these wooden fences. I'll give them that. You know, again, doesn't even look like milled wood. Uh, but brick houses, as far as I can see. You know, 
I said, where's all the industry? Who was building all this stuff? And here we have, this is 1891, so this is like a collage again. Got a church here. And again, look down here. What's going on? It's the same thing, completed building uh, with scaffolding. So again, you know, construction or renovation, you know, the renovation, right? Um, and of course, re -no to renovate something means to redo it. Novate, to replace a contract or a legal agreement with a new contract. So if you leave a present job, you can novate the car lease to your next employer. So if you find a building, you can renovate it. You can change the agreement and say that you now own it. So yeah, uh, what do you think? Building or renovating? You know, just taking it over. Uh, again, look at this one. Now, you know, obviously not the best photo, um, but you know, does this look like a new building or an old building? This wall, this goes into the ground. Why isn't it flat? Why isn't this this building site leveled before they start construction? It doesn't make a lot of sense. And why would you, it, yeah, it just, yeah. Weird, <laughs> uh, road's still not done, you know, and of course down here, just sort of like wooden, wooden buildings. But up here again, massive big uh, brick warehouses. We see these buildings everywhere as well, and they're always used as warehouses. Big chimneys everywhere. And just too much build out for 1891. Bridges, of course, you know, that's a wooden bridge. So I'm sure they could have done that. And that's what they would be building. But, you know, around the world we see these massive stone bridges everywhere. You know, even this, just, I mean, that's, I don't know, is that a house? But look at the size of it compared to the one next door. Like, clearly it was something else. It's probably used as a church. Got a few people down here. So there were people living there, but... Very wide streets. Um, I've got a few people. So, yeah, but, but the problem is this is 65 years after they landed and there was nothing here. And it's just, you know. And it's just got that look, hasn't it, that it was found like some building, you know, um, it's there's not a lot around. It's like it's been wiped clean. Um, and some of the buildings left, you know, obviously some looking a bit short. Like it's been flooded out or something. There's not a lot of, not a lot of trees and things like that, are there? Like look at that. And again, this is the kind of stuff they can build. You know, the little wooden huts and sheds and fences and stuff. And they just tack them onto these old buildings. I mean, and has that got glass in that window? Not sure. This is the thing. Got a couple people here. Oh, we got a ghost. Got the Fremantle ghost. So it's just... Yeah, strange, strange photos that they show us. Oh, we got more over here. What are these? Two chimneys just coming out of the ground and a big pile of rocks around them. Now these don't look like there's any, they don't look like kilns. Don't look like there's anything attached to them. So what are they? And what's all this smashed rock around? And there is a lot of just debris of rock everywhere. I mean, Fremantle has a lot of um, limestone, sandstone around, but there's just, it's just everywhere. Look at it all. It's on the roof. What's going on there? <laughs> And you know, like, look, and see, this is the thing. Look at this big brick, nice brick wall with uh, metal inlaid. They've lost the metal out of this one. And look at the house that they've got there. They've built a little 
little patio on the roof. Um, but this one, they, they've got the you know this big brick fence and a, a funny little house. And here as well, big brick fences. But then other places where you see these silly little wooden fences. You know, and so what's going on here? Look at this nice big building, two story wooden fences, funny little building, half buried brick fences. And you know, it's a brick wall at the front. And then you can see there were these walls everywhere in Fremantle. Um, where are we? I see, I don't, don't think we'll see the no, prison or anything. All right, but yeah, there you go, 1891, 1896, and just the same pit, you know, why, is, where are the roads? It just looks like such a mess, you know, rocks everywhere, bits of wood piled up, just doesn't look like a, a you know, a good place to work, to run all your, to, move all your products from and we've got this so we've got all these I'm not sure if they're brick or not but these sort of these ones with the raised roofs in the middle they always use them as warehousing so what's this is this being built or is this being taken down is it wood is our ladder I'm not sure if it's wood or metal but again look it's just being built you know, if this is a construction photo, it's been built in, 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 you know, this rough, uneven ground. You know, where are the foundations and things? What's going on? And what's this in the middle? Looks like a big platform. You know, was that? Just doesn't make sense. Okay, so it looks like they're, yeah, okay. they got the pylons up here. But where's, where's the floor? You know, wouldn't they put in, I mean, I guess, you know, back in the day, maybe they're going to put a wooden floor in. You could say that, and I'm not sure. That could be metal, but it's just not a very clean work site, is it? Just, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. And then, of course, in the background, again, you know, big bell towers and stuff. Churches, you know, the same old, same old. And you'll notice Fremantle love to use, you know, the limestone. Everything's covered in limestone and verandas. So there we go. I might leave it there. A bit of a look around Fremantle, port city of Perth. Back in the day, this train track goes nowhere. There you go. It just goes from there to there. So that's a good train track. This one doesn't even have a stop on it. It looks like you can like drive straight into the water. And that one looks like it goes somewhere. So that's good. That's good. And another one comes up here. But I mean, look, this is a train track. Look at that bend there. Look at that bit. Look at that. It's not even straight. It's not even level. Just put on top of this mound of dirt. And this is just a, a just a mound of dirt. And there's a train track going up across it. Down here. So I'm guessing they've re they reclaimed all this land. This is probably where you know our ports are at the moment. It's just basically a big cement slab now. But yeah, look at that track. It's just not. Look at that bit there. Could you even drive a train on that? And of course, that's uh, some more pubs on the water. So there you go, uh, Fremantle back in the day. This is from the 60s. And yeah, you can see they filled all this in. That was that sort of crappy area we saw. Got the bridge. But again, just these, you know, big old world buildings everywhere. Oh, and they're building a new bridge. Oh, that's, that's the train bridge, that one, the train track bridge. So there you go, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that one. A bit of a look through Old World Fremantle. And as always, a big thank you to everyone who supports this channel and my work in whichever way you can. 
and especially a big thank you to all my PayPal, Patreon supporters and everyone who buys merch through the store and also uh, the affiliate links. There's also affiliate links below in the description so you can go and check those out. There's uh, some antivirus and a few other bits and pieces, some CBD products. Uh, so yeah, um, thank you for everyone who does support this channel. Thanks for spending some time with me. Uh, please give me a like, leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, if you hit the bell, you'll be notified of all future uploads. And of course, share this content around if you find it interesting. Uh, and let other people know that the story they give us, his story, is not our story. And of course, with new information uh, come new ideas. And we need new information because self-education is the way forward, guys. Uh, always got to keep up and be autodidactic. So stay awesome. Thank you for being you. Love you all. And I'll talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now. You can take your face mask and you can shove them where the sun don't shine.